Welcome back friends. I have a tree. Why do I have a tree? What do you guys think this is? Maybe if I turn it around, it'll be a little more obvious. Now, what do you think it is? Any ideas? Any guesses? A couple of you got it. It's a bug hotel. So you're going to build this. You're going to paint it, decorate it, do whatever you want. And then you take and you go outside and you find stuff that bugs like and you cram it all in here. So maybe you stick a bunch of sticks in there, maybe some pine cones, maybe some leaves, whatever you think the bugs in your yard will like, you put in there. Then the bugs can crawl in there and get through all that stuff. And our little flying friends can fly in through the little holes. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna tell you guys how to build your very own. You're gonna get your kit. And in your kit, you have a whole lot of pieces. So I'm gonna set this one out of the way here. Uh, you're gonna have these two pieces, the front and the back. And if you look at the back side of both of them, they've got grooves in them. Those are called dados. You guys have seen those before and we're gonna show you again. So these pieces, uh, there's four different sizes. And so you've got these two little ones You've got two medium ones, um, and then two larger ones, and then one extra large one. And the thing you want to be in, you want to keep in mind with the extra large one. Um, the other ones are a little easier because they're not quite squares. This is closer to a square, so it can be confusing. When these go on here, they go, and these little ones go here. They go long ways. So if we were to put this like this, you can see that this is now too long. And if we were to put that, try and put that together that way, this would allow us to connect, but none of the other pieces would. So when we put this together, we wanna to make sure that all these pieces are lined up in a way that their length is all the same. So what you've got is you've got the one big piece, that's the bottom piece. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to assemble it. And I'll talk about the pieces as I put them together. So I'm gonna start with the front of the tree. And there is a reason why I do this because I think it's easier if I start with the front door because then when I try to put it all together, that's the difficult part, I can reach my hands in through the front door and line things up. So I've got a little bit of glue in the grooves. You can also just put glue on the edge of these boards if you want to. And we're gonna squish that in there. Then I'm gonna go to the next bigger size and I'm gonna make sure that they're going in the same length direction as these, as the bottom. And it's gonna go in there like this. Just the next groove up from the bottom. We're gonna make sure it's in there where it's supposed to be. Then for these next grooves, we go to the skinny pieces. They go in here like this. And then once those are in there, so these last two pieces are the roof pieces. And there's a trick to the roof pieces because if you see the roof here, you'll see that this piece overlaps this piece. So when I'm looking down on it with the face down, this is the right piece. So the right piece goes all the way up in this peak. The other piece goes underneath it. So if I get that all the way up in that peak, and that's the only way it'll fit in there. It won't, if it won't fit in, you may have it wrong, or we may have got a board too big. That's happened before too. Okay, so now that I've got that in there, I can either put glue on these pieces or I can put glue right in the grooves and the dados on this tree. And I'm gonna put the groove, the glue right in the dados on this tree, just because that's what I wanna do. Just a little easier for me. Don't need much glue, put the cap back on that. And then the hard part now is that we gotta take this flip it over and get all those lined up. Now I could sit here and do this forever and probably never get it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the whole thing over. This is why I do the front first. Now I can start working from the top or the bottom. I usually do the bottom, but I'm gonna try the top this time. And I just start getting those lined up because then I can reach in through here and I can line up these other pieces as we work our way from the top down Get them lined up in those grooves. You may need some help on this, and it may take you some time. Feel free to practice before you put your glue on if you wanna see if you can do it. Now that I've got that, I'm just gonna take 
real light with this rubber mallet. Just make sure it's all the way down. Now this will hold itself together, uh, this one. But what I could do is I could take my clamps, I could clamp them on here, get that all nice and clamped, let it sit for an hour or so. Uh, the other thing, and I've shown you this kind of stuff before, you can lay this here, set a couple books on it, school books. Uh, you could also take some tape and wrap it around. You could take some rubber bands and wrap it around. Anything that'll hold it together while the glue dries. But as you can see, this is not falling apart. So I'm pretty happy with this one. All right, so this one is now ready to be painted, decorated, or whatever it is we decide to do with it. And then we're gonna take it out in the yard. We're gonna fill it with, with bug stuff, um, whatever we have laying around our backyard that I think bugs might like. And uh, we're gonna see if we can go from vacancy to no vacancy with this and get it all filled up with bugs and make them happy. So I hope you enjoy this project. Send us some pictures. I uh, can't wait to see what you guys come up with and how you decorate yours. And if you decide to use them for something else, I'd love to know what else you decided to use it for. I think there's a lot of cool things you could do with this. So thank you and have a wonderful day.